Good morning, this is Joseph Plazo and welcome again to my legal channel. In today's burning topic, can you charge relatives with the crime of theft? Today we we'll look at Mary who sent in a letter. She is married to Eriko and they both live in Kalaokan. Now Eriko supports his brother John who is studying for his vocational degree. For convenience, John stays with the couple. Things aren't so harmonious, however. Several times, John demands for money from the couple to drink with his shady friends. He is always turned down by the couple. One day, Mary catches John and two friends stealing her husband's laptop and cell phone, apparently to resell. She reports the issue to the police and to her surprise, they deny her. They say that no charges can be filed. Is this correct? Mary, the contention of the police is partially incorrect. The answer can be found in Article 332 of the Revised Penal Code of the Philippines. The law states, No criminal but only civil liability shall result from the commission of the crime of theft, swindling, or malicious mischief committed or caused mutually by the following persons. Spouses, ascendants, and descendants, or relatives by affinity in the same line. Number two, the widowed spouse with respect to the property which belongs to the deceased spouse before the same shall have passed into possession of another. And number three, brothers and sisters and brothers-in-law and sisters-in-law if they are living together. The exemption established by this article should not be applicable to strangers participating in the commission of the crime. Now Mary, according to the law, the police are wrong in dismissing all charges. John is not liable criminally but he is civilly liable. On the other hand, his friends are both civilly and criminally liable. The basis is straightforward. John is a relative. Being so, he is included in the list of persons exempted from criminal liability if the crime committed includes theft, swindling, and malicious mischief, and if he happens to be living with you and your husband. His friends are not so lucky, however. All three friends who participated in stealing the items face criminal liability, which includes restitution and jail time. Take note, while John will not go to prison, he will be civilly liable to restore what he has taken, plus damages. Now be advised that this recommendation is based solely on the facts you have narrated and my appreciation of the same. My opinion would vary when other facts are changed or elaborated. Do you have any legal concerns? Feel free to comment your challenges below or email me directly. I may discuss your issues in a new video for the benefit of all. And naturally, your identity will be protected. This is Joseph Lazo, signing out.